What's the word ladies and gentlemen? So today Alienware is giving out a key per Steam account that will yield two different Alienware case themed Skyhammer or Aura loadouts. Um, between each mercenary there is only like two different loadouts you can get. Um, unfortunately I didn't get the uh, I didn't get a very good Skyhammer loadout. But the cool thing is that the, the skins on the guns will have this cool little hexagon Alienware type theme. The sucky thing is though that it's only on the guns. Um, it's not like the whole character has this skin, which is very unfortunate. Um, so since I'm showing you guys what I got, let me know in the comments section below what you guys got. I'll be curious to see if you got better luck than me. But not to worry, if you happen to miss this giveaway, they are doing more in the future for different mercenaries. And uh, honestly, I don't think you're missing out too much, uh, given that the loadouts aren't that great, with the exception of the M4A1 Skyhammer. I'll go ahead and link how to get these in the description box below. Uh, but all you really do is just go to the Alienware website and then sign in, uh, if, make an account if you don't already have one, sign in and then uh, just basically click to get one, click a, a little button on the website. Very very easy to do. Um, there might be a little bit of a waiting line since everyone and uh, their grandmother is trying to get one of these keys, um, but it's, you know, it's free so not exactly paying anything for it. The next thing I want to talk about would be sort of a recap of the interesting bits from the stream, the splash damage stream. Now, I guess with Phantom, they are thinking of changing him. They're not going to change him too much functionally. They're going to keep him with the same sort of idea, but they are going to tweak his uh, cloak a little bit, I do believe. Um, whether or not how, how much you know they do is, is really up to them, I'm not sure, but you can expect in the next update it will be like a Phantom 2.0 uh, type update. Now there are a couple of other things like how they will be instituting uh, private lobbies they can set up. Not so sure about private servers but they will be implementing private lobbies where you can kind of host your own games. Uh, the other thing would be how they are going to implement sort of a uh, report player option from the leaderboard. Hopefully that will help with some of the cheating. I am unsure when an anti-cheat officially will be out, but this uh, I guess we'll have to do in the meantime. Now the next topic I wanna to talk about would be loadout cards, uh, specifically about trading down, quote unquote, uh, cause right now currently we have a trading up system where we can trade up lower rarity cards for higher rarity cards. But of course, sometimes you'll end up with those useless high rarity cards that are just looking pretty in your inventory but are really not that great. Um, so Splash Damage is kind of devising a way or mechanic to uh, help ease uh, sort of that problem or issue. Uh, the other thing is that uh, while Alienware is doing like exclusive cards, Splash Damage as a whole, they are planning on releasing like seasonal cards. So don't be too upset if you don't have like like an Obsidian card or a Founders card or anything like that because they will be releasing more exclusive stuff, just keep an eye out for it. And one more thing regarding loadout cards, they are planning on implementing a Series 2 type deal where they swap out some of the older cards and put in new ones just to keep things fresh. I do not think this means that you'll be losing cards that you already have, but I do think they are going to be implementing new loadouts, which I find really interesting because as it stands currently, it seems like there are only like one or two loadouts per merc that are actually viable or uh, actually decent in game. Not that the augments uh, or loadouts, you know, are that game breaking at all, but I would like to see more of a variety. So the next thing I want to talk about would be micro stuttering. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have this issue, but I can run this game at pretty high settings, at pretty high frame rates or whatever. Um, but every so often it will drop down in frame rates for like a split microsecond. And while that may not seem like a lot, um, it will create a stuttering effect in the, in the game. And I know I'm not the only one having issues with this because other people uh, have also reported this. As such, the developers at Splash Damage are working on sort of a fix. Now the last thing I want to talk about would be sort of a luxury problem, you know? Uh, so I am used to aiming down sights a lot from uh, the shooters I've played. In this game I've gotten used to hip firing, but um, on ADS uh, they are not going to or they are not thinking about adding a sensitivity slider for aiming down sights, which is sort of a bummer because I'm just so used to aiming down sights from previous games, so it's nice to have that consistent uh, benefit or option to do that. Uh, but, you know, as it stands, I don't believe they are going to add a sensitivity slider for aiming down sights, which is fine, I guess, in a way, just because Dirty Bomb is so hipfire intensive, and I guess I've just gotten used to that sort of gunplay. 
So I think this wraps up about you know what I found interesting from the stream. Let me know in the comment section below if I missed anything. I probably missed like half the stuff or 75% of the stuff they talked about. But let me know in the comments uh, what you guys found interesting from the stream, if you guys watched it um, or heard about it at least. And uh, also be sure to tell me what you guys got from the loadouts, from the Alienware loadout cards, if you got them. Uh, that would be also very interesting to figure out. Um, and as always, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and click subscribe. Check out my channel if you are new to the channel. I do a lot of dirty bomb content. Um, do apologize actually for sounding tired. I don't know what it is today, but I'm exhausted. Uh, so until next time, guys, I'm going to have to sign off. Alrighty, goodbye.